In this video, we are going to explore adding a bill of material to the assembly you see on your screen. And then we will examine how to link this assembly bill of material to a drawing. Many SolidWorks users are not aware of the fact that you can create a bill of material in the assembly environment without creating a drawing of the assembly first. On the screen, I have an assembly of a U bracket. You can locate this assembly in your Working Files folder under the name U Bracket Assembly. You can also locate the U Bracket Assembly drawing in the same folder. Before we add a bill of material to this assembly, I want to first go to the Feature Manager tree and expand the Annotations folder. In the Annotations folder, we have three items Notes area, Unassigned items, and write. It will be apparent in a few seconds why we expanded this. Let's add a bill of materials. On the assembly ribbon, I'll select bill of materials. The property manager for bill of materials opens, and this is very similar to the bill of materials property manager in the drawing environment. I am going to stay with the default settings. I'll select OK. A message appears. No current annotation view exists for this orientation. Please select or create an annotation view. I am going to leave it at Notes Area, and that's taken from the Annotation folder in the Feature Manager tree. This means the Bill of Material will be linked to the Notes Area under the Annotation folder. I'll select OK, and on the tip of the cursor, I have my Bill of Material. Now, let's go back to the Feature Manager tree. If I right mouse click a Notes area, I can hide the Bill of Material or show the Bill of Material. Also notice we have a new folder for Tables. If I expand it, I have Bill of Materials. I'll right mouse click on it. Notice I can also hide the table from this flyout menu. I can also save this table in many different formats. I can show the table in a new window. I can print a table and also delete the table. Now let's take a look at the table itself. You will see we have the same options that we do in the drawing environment for a bill of material. Let's go into the drawing environment. Let's add a bill of material. We'll start by selecting the Annotation tab, and then the drop down for Tables. I'll select Bill of Materials, and then select a view to build or create the Bill of Materials from. In this Property Manager, it allows us to create a new table or copy an existing table. By selecting Copy Existing Table, it's basically linking us to the table in the assembly environment. Obviously, we want to leave this checked. So I'm going to go ahead and select the green check mark. And there's my bill of material. Now, this bill of material in the drawing environment and the bill of material back in the assembly environment are linked. So if the data changes in one table, it will be changed in the other table. However, the formatting can be updated independently in each table. For example, the text height, color, and so on. Let's go back to the assembly environment, right mouse click on pin and exclude from bill of material. I'll select OK. It's now excluded. I'll go back to the drawing environment and you'll see the pin is also removed or excluded from the table. Now, if you ever want to unlink this table, you simply click in the upper left hand corner. We have an option for linked to bill of materials. You uncheck the checkbox. You should be aware of the fact that if you break this link, the link cannot be restored.